Guys, Timmy Trico coming at you again with yet with another ranking. Tonight I am ranking all eight of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. Yes, there are eight films in this franchise, and so far this franchise has grossed two hundred fifty-one million eight hundred one thousand seven hundred thirty dollars worldwide at the box office. Uh, with the eight films, uh, to me there are three really bad ones. And then the rest are A-OK -okay in my book. But uh, let's get started with this ranking. Uh, first off, uh, coming to number eight is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 from 1986. This film uh, stars Dennis Hopper. And I hated this sequel. The story was dumb. The characters were dumb. I Dennis Hopper couldn't save this movie. I I just I could not stand this film one bit. And uh, it, it just I don't know, I don't it just rubbed me the wrong way for some reason. And I was excited to watch this film because most of these films I hadn't seen uh, with the exception of the original, of course, and a couple of sequels in the 2000s. Uh, but finally watching all these films, I was excited to, to watch the whole franchise again from uh, the first one all the way through. And I gotta tell you, this, this second uh, film in the franchise was just garbage. It has a three-star rating, and I, I just, I don't understand what the hell those guys were thinking when they gave them that rating. But each their own. Everybody's going to like certain movies, certain franchises, and whatnot. But in my opinion, this film is like uh, The Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Just garbage. Just a terrible movie, in my opinion. Coming to number seven is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D from 2013. Another piece of crap, a waste of film, a waste of time. The characters in this film are god-awful. The story sucks. The 3D sucks. I absolutely hated this film. I was so pumped for another Texas Chainsaw Massacre film, and all I got was garbage. It, I don't, it's just so irritating that what the hell were these people thinking when they made this movie? And they must have been on some good stuff because nothing about this film is good. Not one thing. And uh, in my opinion, it's just a waste. And uh, even though I would probably buy the box set just to have them all, it would sit there and collect us because it is just a bad, bad film. Shouldn't even have been made. Uh, and just a waste of time, in my opinion. Coming to number six is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, The Next Generation from 1994. Again, a useless film, a worthless film, bad characters, a bad story, bad direction, everything about this film. These three films that I've talked about are all garbage. If you combine them into one, they still would make a decent Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Not one character is good enough to even sniff the other films, in my opinion. And I, I love Dennis Hopper uh, in other films. But like I said, he couldn't save that sequel, in my opinion. And these three films are just, just terrible. Just a waste of time, in my opinion. I couldn't wait for them to get over. I remember watching uh, this film and those other two films and could not wait for them to end. Uh, at some point, I fell asleep uh, during the Next Generation film and I had to rewind to where I remember leaving off just to complete the film, it was that bad. When a film doesn't get my attention, and I'm not, 
uh, invested into the characters and the story and everything about the movie, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to doze off and it's just going to be a forgettable film. And this is what this film is, along with the last two films I talked about. They're all forgettable. They're all terrible, in my opinion. Coming number five is the most recent in the franchise, and that is Leatherface from 2017. I really enjoyed this film. I love what they did with his character and his uh, origin story, his backstory. Uh, this is a proper Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Uh, Leatherface, I love the character, of course. This is the first film uh, since the original uh, that was made more, more recent that I liked. And uh, I think as good characters, good story, uh, good direction, I really liked what they did with this film. A lot of critics panned the film. They didn't like the film, but I enjoyed it. I, uh, from this film on for the rest of the list, I really enjoy it. And this is no exception. If you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. I, I really enjoyed Leatherface. Uh, it, it gives us a good backstory. And I, I just, I really enjoy it. I can't help it. I, I'm, I got a soft spot for this film, even though it's not that old. It's barely a year, but I enjoy it. And I definitely think it's worth the watch. Coming to number four is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning from 2006. I enjoyed this film. I, I love the characters. I love the direction. The uh, music was pretty decent in this film. Uh, and I love Leatherface. Let's just face it. His character is really good. Uh, I don't remember a whole lot about this movie. Uh, this came out in 2006. Uh, I think I've only seen it maybe twice. But I still believe it is a strong uh, film in the franchise. Uh, it's definitely enjoyable. I'm going to have to go back through and rewatch it again. Uh, but I really enjoyed this film. I enjoyed the characters in this film. And I think it's one of the best in the franchise. Uh, so yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, it is a decent watch. And one of the best films in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. Coming number three is... The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 from uh, 1990. This film doesn't totally blow me away, but it's it's good enough. Uh, and it's rewatchable. And I enjoy it. I have a soft spot for it. I, I think it's a decent story and a decent sequel. Definitely better than a piece of crap third one, in my opinion. Or not third one, second film. In my opinion, this sequel, like with the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, uh, revived it, in my opinion, and I enjoy it. It is a guilty pleasure of mine. Coming number two is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 2003. I love this film. This is one of the better early 2000s uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. Uh, it's got a great story. Got very good characters. The kills in this film are are gruesome, but uh, I enjoy Leatherface. I enjoy uh, all the other side characters and the even the <laughs> the victims. You have uh, uh, I feel for them and what what's, what happens to them, and I, I genuinely care what happens to them. Uh, with most of these movies horror movies, you generally care about the characters and what happens to them, what, uh, you know, if they're ever going to get away, uh, survive, you know, that's what I like to see um, and look for about these films. I like to try and pick uh, when the movie first starts, who I think is going to survive and who I think is going to die. And it's just fun to do uh, while you're watching the film. 
but um, it's definitely one of the better sequels. Definitely better than the uh, part two. Uh, in my opinion, like I said, it revived the series and definitely belongs at number two on my list. And of course, coming at number one, y'all know what it is. It is the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974. This is a great film. It is a classic. Leatherface in this film is badass. Again, this movie has a guy in a wheelchair who unfortunately meets a gruesome end to his life when he runs into Leatherface when the girl's uh, behind him. And uh, yeah, he, uh, he, <laughs> he gets it really bad in this film. But uh, I love this film. This film is loosely based on a true story of a serial killer who actually uh, did uh, take the faces off his victims and wear their face as his. Um, I believe he did wear his mom's face. Um, and uh, just, just a real creepy, creepy guy. And he, I believe, wanted to be a woman if I'm not mistaken, if I, uh, I read the uh, backstory on this, and, uh, I believe that's what it was. But yeah, he is based on a, uh, a real life character, uh, a serial killer. And uh, I just, I love this film, the characters, the setting, uh, the atmosphere in this film, the intensity they just everything about this film works uh, if they would have just left it with just this film and didn't do any sequels or anything it'd been perfect uh, not saying I don't like those other films I talked about but had they just stuck with the one film I think would have been great but again they rushed other films out they rushed part two uh, into production and did all that and it just we got a terrible movie and horror films need to realize that just because you're a small time production and budget doesn't mean you, you can't take your time putting together a good film even if you got to do reshoots or uh, redo the script or something you, you, you got to make a great horror movie and, and it just sometimes with these sequels they just they just rush them out there just to make a buck and ultimately it hurts the franchises and uh, it takes a really good film to come back and revitalize it and uh, but overall this franchise I love the character of Leatherface and most of the films are good watches uh, I have it as five of the eight films are really good and watchable and ones I recommend the other three are garbage that I can't stand, and I really wish they wouldn't uh, made those films, or if they would just rewrote the script and completely redone the film. But that is my ranking of all eight of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. So in the comment section below, tell me, uh, what is your ranking of these eight films? And did you agree with my list? Did you hate my list? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. Also, if you like this film, hit the like button and hit that subscribe button. And please, share my videos to YouTube, all your friends. And let's have a debate about movies, top tens, rankings. And uh, yeah, let's let's talk. I love talking movies uh, and doing top tens uh, with my favorite actors and rankings of movies. So, uh Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in my next ranking. Thank you.